This hot weather today and the fact that it's going to be much hotter this weekend has organizations all over the state on standby to cope with heat-related problems. News 13's Jim Winchester is live in downtown Albuquerque with more. And Kim, record-breaking heat may be on its way this weekend here in Albuquerque. If temps hit triple digits here in Albuquerque before Monday, it will set a new mark for the earliest 100-degree day on record. Very early. Very, very early. I can't stand it. I wish it was 75 again back in April or May. Health officials say urban areas pose an increased risk for heat-related problems. The asphalt and concrete intensify the heat. The best way to avoid heat-related illnesses... It's important to increase the amount of fluid that people are taking in, even if you don't think you need to, even if you don't think you're getting dehydrated, even if you're not sweating a lot because of the dry climate here, stuff evaporates pretty quickly and you may not realize how much you're losing. Speaking of water, the city is reminding residents that lawns can only be watered three times a week and only before 11 a.m. or after 7 p.m. Even when it gets to be 100 degrees, we still need to stick with that type of a program in order to avoid having any mandatory restrictions kick in later in the summer. And PNM reports energy use on the rise. Already today, power use is 5% higher than yesterday and 8% higher than earlier in the week. PNM says customers can keep their power bills down this time of the year by managing the use of air conditioners and swamp coolers. If they're not in the home, if they're not using things, they can turn it off and have a really significant impact on their energy consumption. If not inside, enjoying the cool air, the next best place this weekend could be here. Local pools are preparing for big crowds this weekend. And the final safety tips are pretty obvious. Make sure you're wearing plenty of this sunscreen throughout the course of the weekend. And if you go outside, it's recommended that you wear one of these wide-brim hats. They may not be the most stylish things around, but they will keep the sun out of your eyes. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Jim. Now, another obvious tip from health officials today, reminding people don't keep children or pets inside cars for any amount of time.